Well, the, the question I'm, I'm about to ask has to do with the fact that he is your client and that uh, presumably you're in touch with him. Can you probably expound on where he's coming from, considering that uh, we all know the political history between the former president and Senator Laila de Lima? That's you know? the thing. And, uh, they're barking at the wrong tree. The president, former President Duterte was never behind the prosecution of Leila de Lima. I am telling you, it was not the former president who introduced me to Ragos. It is a former politician who was a victim of witch hunt of Leila de Lima. So please don't bark at the wrong tree. Well, but you know, uh, we I, all I, know I don't that... quite understand wh oh, oh. Why, why the connection with you. Why does it have to be between you and the former politician? Uh, we're, I think we're talking about here uh, the last quarter of 2016 where the president several times in August, September and October um, identified Senator De Lima right. as, a, as an immoral person who is into drugs, into the drug trade and said that uh, she will surely go to prison. Um, and and, uh, and now you say, of course, that uh, he had nothing to do with the cases. I do not know about the dates, but I do remember it was the christening for the child of uh, Congressman Mikey Romero, and I in fact resented I had to leave because I hadn't eaten at that time. No, but the the former politician said we'll have food here for you anyway. In fact, I said, can I eat first before I go because the buffet is very good? But I had to go. No, and the reason, of course, why I was called was I was a member of Congress. And he wanted Congress to investigate the matter. And so I relayed, in fact, this information to the committee chairman, Congressman Kumali. And in turn, Congressman Imali then um, um, conducted further investigation on the matter before he came up with a decision to actually investigate the matter. From my personal experience, I am telling you, it was not former President Rodrigo Duterte behind the cases against Leila de Lima. But his pronouncements were to the effect that Leila de Lima was in fact behind all of this drug trade in the Believe It. His pronouncements, I'm not talking about the, you know, what's being said and presented in the courts. Well, if there was evidence um, of probable cause, then the executive through the National Prosecution Service really does not have any discretion. They have to file the case in court. Mm. But, but how much uh, influence did that exert? You know, the there, legal were, side of there were more than 10 witnesses against her. So as far as probable cause is concerned, I think it's there. Even if you were to apply the new standard of um, Secretary Remulia, likelihood of a successful prosecution, I think the standard would still be there for purposes of filing the case in court. Attorney, Attorney. De Leon? Well, 10 witnesses that all were incredible, who were not believed by the court, and a lot of them actually proved the innocence of Laila de Lima, including uh, um, um, the anti-money laundering council agent, including the PIDEA agent, who said that there was no investigation linking um, Senator uh, Laila de Lima to drug trading, uh, by the way. So, um, ultimately, no, um, mahirap siguro yung sabihin natin na yung ginagawa ni Attorney Harry Roque, may panyero here, na sasabihin, walang involvement see si, um, President Duterte. Well, in fact, all his pronouncements actually say na may involvement siya. Sabi niya, bago, uh, bago mag-file kay Laila de Lima, you are finished, Laila de Lima. You will rot in jail, Laila de Lima. And by the way, ha, this was actually cited by the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. In fact, the Working Group on Ar Arbitrary Detention of the United Nations categorically declared that the um, detention of Laila de Lima was arbitrary and specifically cited all pronouncements of Rodrigo Duterte mm -hmm. um, and um, um, indicating that there was persecution and this was orchestrated by the state. No, So, okay, pwedeng sabihin pa ulit-ulit ni Attorney Harry Roque, may panyero here, uh, very respectable uh, panyero here in the legal profession, pa ulit-ulit niyang sabihin yan, pero hindi niya mababago yung mga pinagsasabi ni Rodrigo Duterte, hindi niya mababago ang pinagsas um, findings ng experts ng United Nations, at nakita naman ng sambay ng Pilipino kung gaano pa ulit-ulit uh, si Rodrigo Duterte na nanggigigil kay Senator Lila de Lima. No? So, um, Rodrigo Duterte had everything to do with the persecution of Lila de Lima.